Disgusting. Man, I, I had some, some other things I wanted to talk about. Um, we're going to start something new on the podcast. Basically, each one of us is going to have some, a certain topic to discuss. Start next week. Well, I'm going to start off this week. The next week, we all have something that we basically almost want to get off our chest. Right. It's going to be a segment called What's Your Spill? Right, right, right. My guy started last week. So we sat back over the week and figured out we're going to start something different. We think everybody's going to like it. And I'm gonna go, definitely going to start off this week. My spell as of this week. <laughs> social media, man. Social media, social media. Gift or curse? <laughs> I believe it's both. It's a gift and a curse. Motherfucker, turn. Man, as bad as I wanted to avoid social media when I started my business in 2016, it was. It was almost undeniable I had to involve myself in it. Yeah. Such Didn't that. really want to, but I almost had no choice. You're asking for trouble, Jack. It's part of, it's one of the things where you get with it or get lost. And I decided that I had to get with it and it's been exactly what I thought it was going to be. A gift and a curse. You got your good days, you got your bad days. You got your good things, you got your bad things. Mm hmm And me having a clothing store, I felt good when I was able to deal with people not having to directly talk to them. Now, having to directly deal with these people and, you know, I never wanted to be, I have a store, I have a website, you know, and you got friends and stuff that know you and people that's close to you, they, they want to call you and, and tell you to meet them somewhere and, 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 and all these type of things. And I'm, I never wanted to do that. I never was into it. I felt fine not having to do that. Um, I didn't promote my business to a lot of people early. I kind of just dealt with third party platforms. So I said, you know what? Stand me paying all these other platforms and so let me start my own site. Did that. It's been wonderful as far as uh the payoff, things like that. But at the end of the day, you gotta start I gotta start dealing with people directly and, and now, you know, it's it's the thing where people call you, they want to meet you, they want you to uh especially people that are close to you. They wanna come try it on. You know, people think you got the stuff at your house. Y'all can come over try. No, this is a real <laughs> business, son. It's a real business. It's not I'm not selling out the trunk. I'm not riding around with Tim's in my van. I <laughs> those days, guy riding around with true religions in his van. No, that's not me. I have a website, and you know, a few of my friends I, I I'll do it for, but for the most part. It's not my thing. <laughs> and once I started the social media thing, it's been a gift and a curse, just like I thought. Now, I would like to say, I definitely love dealing with and doing what I do. I love clothes, I love fashion, I love, you know, Helping people out, letting people look good, everything. But people, when you have this direct connection to you, some people like to take advantage of that. Some people say things they want to say to you if they was close to you. You know, some people ask you things they wouldn't ask. You know, people in Saks and, and all these other places. And the group start asking you to do all these extra things like you're working for them. And I try to be nice as possible and polite as possible. You know, I didn't have 
I had even family members and friends say, man, I don't need my guess your customer service is a little crazy. But it ain't it ain't that. I just think I feel like once people able to have direct contact to you, they take advantage of that. And they actually do things and ask you to and say things to you that they wouldn't say to you in other platforms or other areas or even, you know, in any other case. And that's and, and that's one of my spells on social media. It kind of gives people access to your life that normally they probably wouldn't have access to. Now, is it direct access? No. It's not direct. It's not like they're able to, to touch you or, or, or... But they can do things and, and, and harbor things. And some people, some, sometimes it's a good thing you might have somebody that, you know, from school or something that you ain't seen in a while, maybe hit you up and say, yo, what's going on, man? You know, boom, boom. I seen her pay or all that, but that's fine. Then you got the other things. You know, people using it to, 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 to find you or people using it to, you know, to try to think they know who you are. Yo, I seen you on there, that's who you are. No. Seen you on there, that's where you was at. No, you don't. <laughs> Social media is, is social. It's not. I'm not gonna say it's not real because a lot of people say it ain't real and it ain't real. It's it's real, but it's it, a lot of times it's not um, the end all of what they really think. Mm -hmm. A lot of people take a lot of guesses and a lot of trying to figure stuff out. Mm -hmm. It's not that, right? You know, and and it became. I was against it for a long time. Not that, I mean, because I was always always a private person, so I kind of not avoided it, but I knew that if you start getting on there, you start exposing yourself to this platform that people will take it out of context Correct. and think they know who you are, think they know what you're doing and, and you know, and everything. And, and exactly what I thought it was. Mm -hmm. A gift and a curse. You have your, you know, your, your, your prominent things. People definitely, you meet people and you come through. And people come to purchase things and you meet these people. Have, you have a good connection, to, good connection with, and, and you can do good business with. Then you have the other side of it, man. Nasty, real nasty, man. A lot of ignorant nastiness going on there. <laughs> So I'm hoping that we can be mature in, and I know it's not. I'm just saying it. But at the end of the day, I don't believe maturity is going to happen on social media. I truly believe it's going to get worse as we go. I, I don't. I don't see a bright. I mean, I see a bright future as far as monetary and, and, and stuff like that, but. You have to understand it's going to come with another side to it. it Carla, Carla says uh, it's social, not personal. And people don't know how to keep them separate. Say people not keep it? They don't. I mean, the thing is, you try to, you can't even, think about it. You can't really can't enjoy, you can't go to like a, a music park and enjoy your family or somebody saying, you right. know, look at that shoes. His, his daughter's shoes is bad. Right. Like they look for the like the worst things on that. But you might be that music Paul, you might say told your door, look, throw some old sneakers on, we're gonna be running around, we're gonna be in the grass and woods and Right, right, right. Somebody look at that and say, Man, he, you seen his daughter's shoes on that? He he came by his daughter some sneakers. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's like I don't these people, right? The people that use it for anything negative, anything, anything. is annoying. Well, you know, I hope they find some way to go. You know, I, 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 find some, find some. I would say the same thing. If somebody says to me, "Now find something to do." I'm, I'm, I have a job. I have a business. You want to work? I can find something for your time. I'm not a. I'm not a big fan of social media. But every once in a while, I got to post something on there because I guess we got to do this to, to, to keep it going. I, I, you, like, if you look at my social media, I, I, I rarely post something on there. 
Okay. And I and when I do post something, it's like maybe because I'm in a zone right now and I'm trying to, you know, I mean, just put things out there in some kind of way or whatever the case may be. I know we said we got to do more stuff on social web, social media, net, this network thing we got going on here. You know right. what I'm saying? But I really don't. I like. I don't like people posting so much of that negative bullshit on social media all day. When you see all these fights and dumb shit, I, I don't like that shit. I can't it see is. myself holding a camera and watching two girls fight recording. I can't. Right. I, I don't see myself doing it. You know what I'm saying? Right. I can't see myself doing it. And then you letting everybody know your personal fucking business. Like, why are you letting everybody know your personal business? And I'm you, but that's the thing. It's two sides. It's, it's, it's the people that, that let people know their personal business. Then you have the people that don't let people know their personal business. You have people making it their personal their business. Person, they ain't even, your it ain't even your personal business. But you know, I, I see all this shit. Like, even like when people go into hospitals and shit. Right. And you're in a hospital bed. Like, yo, I really don't respond to them posts because I really don't think it's nobody's business. That's Just mean like, yo, my aunt in the hospital, or my... Or you. you or, yeah. there. So, I don't really think that people really know, no, no disrespect to nobody, no disrespect to nobody, but I don't really think nobody need to know all that. Like, nobody don't really give a fuck, for real, for real. They feel they ain't gonna see no flowers. They ain't gonna come and see you. They ain't gonna do none of that. All they gonna do is call you because they wanna know why the fuck you in there. They wanna be nosy. Like, like y'all gotta get real, man. That's why I don't fuck with reality shows, man. Like, you know what I mean? You wanna know why so much people know your business, yo, because you really putting it out to the world when you put it on social media. Right. You put it out there to the world. So you can't get mad at nobody but yourself. Then you want to get mad because people are all in your business and telling you about X, Y, Z. But guess what? You did it. When you push that button and push share on that, you let everybody in your business and everybody to respond to whatever's going on in your life. Flat out. You can't say nothing about it. Why beef about it? Why argue about it? If that's just how it go. Because you the one did it. Ain't nobody else do that. You did that, man. You 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 caused your own problems. Just put it like that. You caused your own problems. You can't blame nobody but yourself. Flat out. I, I mean, but then again, can well I understand that too, right? But what about if you just just say, man, so you out with your kids, you just celebrate your kid, like I said. What about the people that's drawing the negativity? You're not on there to be negative. You're not on there to be. You know what I'm saying? To, uh, to share. I mean, you sharing personal thought, but it's really for you're looking at it more for like your friends and family. You're not really looking at it for like outsiders to be like just chiming in. Right. I mean, also I look at it like me doing networking. Like I got nonprofit things like that. I want to network that way. Everybody, everybody don't have my phone number. Right. Everybody don't need to have my phone. Just DM me. Right. Just call me through that. Whatever like that. Everybody don't need my phone number. And um, that's how I go. We have a call that says uh, those type of folks are called trolls. And unfortunately, like the reality TV show, drama is what keeps the ratings and the ratings generate money. And that's so real because, you know, I talk to people and we talk about people about our podcast. And I, and, I, and I say that we can get so many more viewers or people commenting if we up here beefing and going at each other next. But we're not trying to do that. Now, we ain't gonna, we, we're not going to agree on everything. Guaranteed, we're not going to agree on everything. Right. You know what I'm saying? We're not going to do that. But guess what we ain't going to do? We ain't throwing no blows. We ain't fist fighting. We ain't selling no, no bunch of whip tickets where we threaten. No, we ain't doing that. But we ain't going to agree because damn, everybody, you know me, I don't agree with everybody. I'm on my board meeting. I damn near go back and forth every damn first, first Monday of the month. Cause some things I just don't agree with. I'm not. I'm not the type of person to agree with anything. You know what I mean? I'm a fighter. I I, I go, but I I go with what I believe in. So that's how that go. But 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 people crazy, man. You know what I mean? They want they, they want all this negative shit, man. We ain't doing that shit, man. We ain't, yeah, my man, throwing drinks. <laughs> Do troll pay? Do you get paid for trolling? Is it a job? 
<laughs> listen. Listen, this is what I'm saying. They're the people I'm talking about. Like, I'm going to go about what my, my man Phil Crump told me. Shout out to Phil, the reserves. Man, you got a great, fantastic spot there, man. Congrats to you. I definitely be through that, sir. I'm sorry I ain't stopped doing that, but you know I'm a I'm a I'm a firm supporter of anything you do, so that's something you ain't gotta worry about. But Phil Crump, man, go check his spot out. The reserves, it's right off Security Boulevard. I don't have his exact address, but it's back there where uh, behind the old Shoe City and all that. Most people know what I'm talking about, right across from Woodlawn High School. Go 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 check them out, man. The reserves. But you know one thing he said to me, people. Women don't gotta watch out for the people that that's busy. They need to watch out for the people that's not busy. Which means anybody that's not busy, most likely is not getting getting to the bag. Anybody that's getting to the bag don't have time to be chiming in and rolling around and worrying about foolishness. Right. Since I've been getting to the bag almost my whole entire life, you know what I realized? I don't have time for nothing else than Scoofy. Hmm. But if you get to the bag, you ain't got time. It's no time. One thing I get, one thing I would ask for nowadays is time. When you're busy and you get to them bags, right. you realize how much less time it is in the day that you do have. It's not much at all. It's not much at all, man. Zero. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So they worry about the dude that they need to worry about the dude. They worry about the dude that's never doing. They need to worry about the dude that stay busy. The ones that stay busy, the ones they want. They worry about the dude that's not busy. Every time you call me, oh, what you doing? Oh, I ain't doing nothing. Sitting here checking out. That's not the dudes you want. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Right, right, right. You want the busy dude. See, women that's mad at the busy dude. They not get to the bag neither. Mm -hmm. Cause get to the bag, you don't got time. Right. Exactly. I'm keeping a hundred. Exactly, 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 exactly. It's very few people that's getting to the bag that's got a lot of time. Do you get what I'm saying? It's, it's not. It's, it's, yeah. Some people don't understand, and that's a true statement. Like you have too much time on your hand. I don't want you. You're a bum. Unnecessary time. You're a bum. On your hand. Keep on building that motherfucker. Yo, what you doing? Yeah. Nothing. You keep building Where you at? Real. I'm going right over here, see what they're doing. Listen, that's right that, see what they doing. What you mean? Is that, it get to the bag? I'm not saying so life pulls a rope re revolve around that. I'm not saying that. But see, those people is the ones that, that that look at you crazy. That social media would destroy your family, man. We got we got callers. Uh it's called social media, not personal media. Then when you ask questions, it's why you in my business. <laughs> You put it on here. Grow up. No one is perfect. <laughs> yeah, you do. You ask my why you my friend, you put it on there. We have another one. Uh, you would think that they get paid. It's just a miserable mo, mo you know, motherfucker. With no business of their own, living in a glass house, throwing stones. I agree. You, somebody called me and said something. They do what I told them. Find something to do. I don't want to hear it and hung up on it. <laughs> Too oh, much yeah. time on your hands. All you do. What you do at work? They're not working you hard enough. That's what I'm going to say. Man, listen. God damn it. We need some of these, these bosses to crack them whips on these, these people. They All they want to do is be on that social media. Crack these whips on these people, man. Get them off of that. They sitting at that desk, all they want to do is mind everybody else's goddamn business. Get out of my business, man. Bums! Mind. <laughs> you, if you're a troll, you're a bum. <laughs> get out, I say. You, get out every of, troll you get see out of looks my DM. bummy. Get out of my DM, motherfucker. Any troll you see looks bummy. They a bum. Get Anytime out you see them, they are bums. They, look, out they, they look like bums. They don't got nothing going on. Because nobody got something going on. I've been around, <laughs> let me tell you something, people. I've been around millionaires, right? I have millionaire friends. So I see how their life is basically controlled. Now, you would say, some people say, well, I don't, don't want to be like that one. It's a sacrifice. To be in a certain position, 
if you get to a certain position where you're in the upper echelon, your life is going to be controlled. People see Beyonce and Jason, yeah, I don't be up. They like they got time. To... No, they don't. They show you what they want to show you. Trust me. They have a schedule for everything they do. Almost every minute they like they have a schedule. Trust me. I have millionaire friends. I know how they move. I know how their life moves. I know how every second of their life is basically accounted for. I know how they have schedules booked. They they clear it when they want to. No, I'm chilling. Clear that, clear that, clear that. I got something to do. I'm spending time with my family. Trust me. For the ones that ain't getting to the bag, they don't understand. They don't, they don't get it. So what I realized, you got to stay in your lane. You got to stay with people. That's why you realize Hollywood people mess with Hollywood people. People say, well, man, I don't understand why he mess with her. Why he mess with her? Because they understand. All of them understand how it goes. So they gotta stay there. They can't mess with the regular people because the regular people don't understand. You get what I'm saying? They don't. I've seen it. I've been around it. I'm still around it. I know how it works. This is wild. You can't. It ain't even about downgrading. I know a lot of people say, well, you go mess with the regular person. It's not about downgrading. It's just about understanding the lifestyle of where they at. That's all it's about. Somebody that's in there, somebody that's in that world understands it. You start dating outside that world, it's going to be nothing but problems. Because they don't get it. They don't understand. They don't know how it works. So stay, that's the, the, back to the mean again. Stay in your lane. Pretty much. Carla, you said it, you said it, middle man. <laughs> People out there getting it, uh, getting their own. I mean, I'm sorry, y'all. I apologize. You said it, middle man. People out there getting their own don't have time to be worried about other folks because they're too busy doing their things. People. Pull this back. You cannot, I don't, it, it, see, this is what I'm saying. This is why, what I mean by I don't understand, it's hard for me to understand, right? And this is, uh, uh, say it again, because every time somebody, when, when somebody got a bag, when somebody get to the bag and they got money, they look at the other person, they down or it may not. They basically explain it to them that you just don't understand how this side of the life works. And that's all I'm saying. So me being a person that's always been getting to the bags, it's not nothing different. There's not nothing from years ago. This is anybody know me know, knows. So I don't have to explain to people that don't know. They get it. And, and and this ain't about me, this is about everybody. You just don't have the type of time that most people that ain't doing anything want and understand. People that's getting to the bag, it's not watching social, I mean reality TV. Yeah, they, got, not. they got people doing that for them. They, have people they do have a them. life. People say, well, I don't want to be like that. They ain't got no life. They do have a life. It's just more calculated. Yeah. Just calculated. That's it. They, they have a life. It's just calculated. I would rather have too much and be able to turn stuff down and not have anything and trying to get to it. Right. Let me say that again. I would rather have too much and be able to turn things down than not have anything and still chasing to get to it. Right, right, so right. y'all can understand that. So the people that's it, it's simple things. When people in this world is getting to the bag, they say, "Well, you know, they certain." Let me let, I'm, I'm give you an example. If I'm calling another dude that I know that I know is getting to the bag, he'll answer the phone. Guess what? I understand. He's busy like he's supposed to be. He's busy. Supposed to be busy. I'm not, my face not turned up. That's nigga, he ain't answering his phone. Y'all don't be answering his phone. Nah, nah. No, people get to the back and understand that. He holler at me when he get the free time. This is why you got to get away from the people that's not in the same, I got to say it again, this is not no levels. This is just different. So you got to be with the people that's 
like you that understand it when it's, you don't answer the phone. It's called stay in your lane. That's what it's called. Well, hold that thought. Let's pay some bills, bro. Definitely. Meet you and Mook, you said right there. Meetyourmook.com. Get all your latest fashion. All your, like I said again, all the high end gear. Don't carry low end gear for the people that understand that. High end. It's high end. So don't call, don't text, don't, don't DM with no low end prices. So you understand that. Plus, I like to send a special shout out to. We have here supporting black businesses. www.candlequeencandles.com. I'm say it again. www.candlequeencandles.com. On the humble, I heard about them. Real simple. They black owned. I support them. When the book spent about $125 in candles, I hope y'all do the same, man. Once again, www.candlequeens.com, man. Go check them out, man. I, I, I just, out of the blue, heard about them, say less. They black owned company, I purchased it. Real simple. Uh, Sky Service is uh, 365. That lawn service and uh, you need any uh, home improvement done, kitchen and bathroom specialized in them, most definitely that. Uh, Give us a call, man. Uh, that's some big things coming up, man. Um, also, Vanity Beauty Box, if you're down online and you need your head done, you know, most definitely, my man would say, pay these three lights right now. <laughs> <laughs> that's why you can see us, son. <laughs> most definitely. <laughs> Check them out down in Atlanta, y'all. <laughs> Vandy Beauty Box. Vandy Beauty Box Atlanta, man. We, we deep in Atlanta. We got a lot of connections in Atlanta, <laughs> man. But what? man, best friend, I'm there. My kids, that man kids. <laughs> the, hey, we we coming to knock some doors now. We're going to be there. We coming. Definitely. Most definitely that, Jack. Most definitely that. <laughs>